After more than uh, 20 years on the job, Virginia Western Community College's president, Dr. Robert Sandel, is planning to retire. Tonight, 10 News reporter Connor Dietrich sits down with Sandel to talk about that decision and why he thinks it's the right time. People in our community have greater respect for a community college than they did 20-something years ago. Virginia Western Community College President Robert Sandel is calling the upcoming academic year his last. This week, Sandel told faculty and staff he will be retiring at the end of the academic year in June 2025. I really hate to leave uh, the college. The college is in a very strong position. That was one of the reasons I decided to, decide to, to, to um retire now because we are in such a strong position. Once retired, Sandal will have served the longest time as president at Virginia Western. He's already the most tenured president in the Virginia Community College system. Under his leadership, the college's foundation has grown to $34 million in assets, money that is invested into the college's students. But he'll tell you he doesn't do it alone. What would you say makes Virginia Western special? Well, Virginia Western is made special by its people. And, and I say that is that, uh, you know, a president can only do so much, but you gotta have, you know, uh, one of my real mottos is you're only as good as the people around you. So you gotta have a good team. The team makes it happen. I try to provide the resources and all the revenues and all the things they need to do the work they need to do. As someone who spent more than 50 years in public education, Sandal has seen a lot of change. How has the community college landscape changed just within the past five, 10 years? Yeah, I think, I think the landscape that's really changed is the money issue. Money is still a critical issue for students and parents. And the community college offers a great bargain at a lesser price. We're not cheaper, we're just less cost. Virginia Western says details of how Sandals' successor will be selected will come at a later date. However, knowing there's one more year to go, Sandal knows the job is not done. In Roanoke, Connor Dietrich, 10 News, working for you.